Welcome to the Ace JK Hammertown Rear Armor Installation Video. Here's what comes in the box. The rear cross member cap, the removable center section, two frame mounted recovery points, hardware for the cross member cap, and hardware for the recovery points. And these are the tools you'll need to complete this install. A drill with a half inch drill bit, a hammer, a punch, a ratchet with a 15 16 socket, a 3 16 and 6 mm Allen wrench, and a 13 mm wrench. Also not pictured, a quarter inch starter drill bit. Step 1. Remove your rear bumper and clean up the rear cross member and frame area. Then we're going to install the center plate with the supplied hardware. The flathead cap screws go through the center plate holes, through the rear cross member, and then are secured with a flat washer, a lock washer, and nut. Hand tighten. Step 2. Slide on the large rear cross member cap over the cross member until it's seated. Having the center section installed will allow you to locate the holes on the large piece. Using a hammer and punch, mark the center of the two outside holes on the cross member cap. Then remove the large cap. Step 3. Using a quarter inch drill bit, drill a starter hole through just the rear side of the cross member. Do not drill through the front plate of the cross member. We will be using a factory welded nut on that side to secure the cross member cap. Once the starter hole is complete, step up to the half inch drill bit and open the hole all the way up. Repeat this process for the other punch mark and then touch up the holes you drilled with spray paint to prevent rusting. Step 4. Place the cross member plate back in place, line up the holes and hand tighten the provided flathead bolts into place. Using a 6mm Allen wrench, tighten both bolts down. Step 5. Push up on the center cap, make sure everything lines up, and tighten down the hardware using a 13mm wrench and a 6mm Allen wrench. Step 6. Making sure the flush side is to the outside of the Jeep, insert one of the recovery points into the frame. They are universal, so it doesn't matter which one you use. Using the provided 5 8 hardware, hand tighten them both in with a washer, lock washer, then bolt. Then tighten them both down using a 15 16 socket. Repeat for the other side. Your Hammertown rear armor should look similar to this once you're finished. Step 7. To switch out to the factory hitch, start by unscrewing the hardware in the center cap and removing it. Then slide the factory hitch over the cross member where the center plate has been removed. If you have a factory hitch, the hardware will just thread in. If you have an aftermarket hitch like this, it may need to be bolted up with washers and nuts. That's it. Congratulations. You've just completed the Ace JK Hammertown rear armor installation. Now get out there and test it out.